All right, well, always start with the basics. Always make sure your power supply is working. Um, and it's real nice. This power supply just unbolts with four, four screws on the back and uh, I can pull it out here. I have the towel here to keep it from shorting out to anything. And I have the uh, transformer still hooked up, so it should be an operational, uh, an operational device. Um, so before I got too far, I used my, um, my in-circuit uh, capacitor checker, which I get, seemed to be getting quite a bit of mileage out of that thing. And uh, there were two capacitors here, a uh, 100 microfarad 25 volts, and there was two of those. So uh, let's see here, let's test them out of circuit. Um, All right, so this one shows a complete open. <laughs> Not a good thing. And the other one, the other one shows uh, 0.2. So he's still okay. But one of them was completely dry. So I figured since they're exact same make, exact same everything, uh oh, just drop it inside the, uh, inside the machine is not a good thing. All right. There. Um, so, I uh, might as well replace both of them, and it happens that I have a whole bag full of those, those particular capacitors. I have a whole, whole bag of 100, uh, 100 microfarad 25 capacitors, so I just bolted those two in, and away we go. Okay, so we can go to the next step and see if it actually generates any voltage. So, um, I looked at the layout of everything, figuring out maybe what could be bad, what could be good, um, to, to test. And I noticed there's something like an LM3, uh, let's see here, LM317. So there's an adjustable regulator here, and there's an LM395. Uh, Not sure what a 395 is, but there's two of those. So they're obviously just using three terminal regulators, and they have these sockets on the, uh, on the board. And... Uh, they just slide into the board. Oh man, I've got the hiccups down. Just had a bowl of ice cream. Okay, um, so uh, let's take a look at the schematic since I have the manual. And uh, can we zoom out here? Yeah, so there's a transformer here. There's just two supplies. Uh, there's a center tap here. So some voltage is coming off here. Then there's a bridge rectifier. And the thing generates, when it's all said and done, it generates uh, minus 27 plus 27, minus 18 plus 18, and 7.3. All right. And, um, and I said, okay, well, uh, the schematic's kind of strange. It has these, uh, 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 these uh, transistors here somewhere else. And, and I got to scratch in my head. I mean, what, what do you mean there's transistors somewhere else? And I took a look. There's three of them, one, two, three. And it's actually here. It's one, two, three, except these aren't transistors. So then I thought to myself, well, maybe somebody tried to fix this thing. And they thought that, I don't know, they just got it wrong. I, I, it didn't make any sense. I scratched my head. And so I went online and looked for another service manual for this thing, and it was exactly the one I had. And then I looked at a, so Wavetech had a whole series. They had a 3000, a 3001, and some other ones. Anyway, I looked at some of the other ones and looked at the data at the uh, service manuals, and I found this thing. Ooh, let's zoom way out. And this thing is that board. It has the, uh, the bridge rectifier and the two and the two diodes, and it generates uh, plus 27, plus 18, minus 18, and minus 27, and 7.3. It has all the same voltages, okay? Oh, great. Um, this one, though, has an LM395, an LM395, and an LM317. So there must have been a revision change somewhere along the lines. And this particular unit got an upgrade, uh, got the new board. And the new board is much simpler. It just uses these three terminal regulators. So I say we use this schematic instead. Um, and so uh, let's put a voltmeter. Uh, let's see, this is ground. And uh, let's see, we've got those two. 
Yeah, let's look at the uh, raw voltage here on this big capacitor. Uh, that gets regulated down to 7.3, so it should be around 10 volts or something like that. Um, let me turn the power on here, and we'll look over at the meter. I don't know if you can read that, but it's minus 1 volt. <laughs> that's not good. Let's turn that off. Uh, minus 1 volt. That's that's That can't be. Let's measure across the the capacitor directly. Uh, maybe my ground was misplaced. So now I've got this the voltage meter right across the capacitor and it's measuring ah 15 volts. So that's okay. 15 volts is okay. Um, all right. Let's measure the input to the 317 which is here. Uh, 317. Uh, let's see here. Pin one, pin two. It should be pin three. One, two, three. It should be this one. Do we get 15 on this pin? We get 17.6. What's going on here? We're gonna have to get more voltage. Oh, so oh, this is going up. Oh, that's weird. Now it's 18 volts. Oh, now it's 18.2. Oh, what's going on? I don't like this. Why does that voltage keep going up and up and up? And it's a um, 16 volt. Uh, 16 volt capacitor. Uh, what is going on? What is going on? Well, that's not good in a couple ways. Definitely not good in a couple ways. Um, okay. Um, maybe there needs to be load on it. That could be. It could be open circuit. It floats high, and once there's a load on it, everything's fine. I can't put a load on it because my connector is too short. Um, all right, but let's let's look at the output of the 317. It should be 7.7.3 7 volts, right? And it goes to pin seven. Okay, pin seven is here. So let's measure this one. Oh, oh, well, wait a minute. The plot thickens, wait a minute. I don't think our grounds, our ground, I think there's a missing ground somewhere. Yeah, this is not right. There might be a missing ground. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's weird. All right, well more investigation to be had. Uh, I do believe that's the right schematic, so I will see if there is a missing ground on this thing. It's a big ground plane on the back, so I doubt there's a missing missing one. But anyway, let me poke around a little bit more and uh, go from there. All right, so I've been poking around this thing for a while, and there's some really weird things happening on the ground. It seems as though there's two grounds that should be tied together, but they're not tied together, and I don't know why. So uh, let me show you a quick, uh, quickly here. If I get this all on camera, I'll just hold this. All right, so this is supposed to be 7 point, uh, what is it, 7 point, um, 7 point three volts. And I turn it on, and it measures a weird thing. So if I put in the missing ground, put in the missing ground, now it's uh, 7 volts. And I should have uh, minus 30, minus, there's my, there's minus 18, there should be a plus 18, there's my plus 18, yeah, and this should be plus 27, 30, fine, that's an unregulated thing, so and then I get the minus 30 over here. Uh, oh, that's an AC. I'm sorry, that's AC. Let's see, plus 27 is here. Minus 27 is uh, six uh, here. Yeah, minus, minus 30. Okay, so I'm missing a ground wire and, let me turn this off. I'm, I tried to figure out whether it, makes a connection when you bolt it to the chassis or not. 
but it don't make no sense to me. Uh, let me let me show you what's going on here. Is that blowing out the camera? Let me turn it down a bit here. So um, you can see there's a center tap here on this, and, th and this goes to a ground symbol that looks like that, a little three little lines. And then those big orange yellow caps here, they go to the little same thing. So all, all of these grounds on the back here, those are all those are all grounded. And then if you go up to like these two guys, these hundred microfarad ones, they're up here and they have the same little ground symbol. But the jumper that I just put in went from there. Let's see, went from uh, there to there, that, that little ground symbol to that little ground symbol. And that makes the whole power supply function. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to solder a wire in there and uh, we'll put it back in the unit and see if it all starts to work magically. All right, so I have the unit uh, back inside, the power supply back inside. Let me, uh, let's go measure some voltages here. Uh, let's turn on the power. Here's our 7.4 volts. It's still good. Here's our minus eight. Oh God. Here's our plus 18. Oh no. Uh Oh, I'm gonna turn that off. So, uh, the power supply works out of, out of circuit, but not in circuit. So something is crowbarring plus or minus 18, uh, plus, plus 7.4 is working just fine. So that's an improvement, I guess. Uh, yeah, but the other ones are crowbarring. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, I guess that'll mean another video.